So last night, Niji Sanji English's Millie Parfait held a very random and quite weird stream titled Secret Group Chat. The first 30-ish minutes of the stream was just this screen here with some music in the background. She had thousands of people in the chat confused as to what was going on before a message was suddenly sent saying, quote, hi, 4chaners. The rest of that stream went on where multiple people would talk in this chat as if it was 4chan going back and forth with one another, making fun of Niji Sanji members and complaining about the VTubers inside of Niji Sanji, something 4chan and haters on Twitter do quite often. The stream was honestly pretty random but once people realized what it was, they started laughing about all of it and posting screenshots of the event on Twitter. However, a lot of people were apparently trying to guess what members of Niji Sanji were in that group chat and started adding Niji members trying to figure it out. Others also didn't understand the stream at all and were confused about the entire thing, took the things said on stream way too serious, and started going back and forth on Twitter. When Mr. Riaz woke up this morning, he asked people to stop assuming he was in the group and seemed a bit annoyed about the situation, but ended up deleting that tweet and said, quote, you know what, it doesn't matter. We also had Millie Parfait not long after tweet out quote if anyone didn't get the context clues the secret group chat is meant to be a satire stream it means to express and poke fun at the hate we receive on a daily basis to show how ridiculous it is please do not harass or ask any liars about it anywhere or on streams thank you so of course as many had already guessed the entire stream was all just a big joke for Millie and whoever else was there to mock 4chan users and people that hate on them every single day many people obviously understood this and that was all just a fun stream but others were saying things like quote I'm sorry Millie but this type of content will always attract negative attention regardless of the original intent. I love how creative your streams always are, but I hope you don't thread this line in the future. Also, others saying, quote, I get what you wanted to do, but giving attention to trolls is always a bad idea. You let them know they got to you and they will just use it as ammo. Others also saying, quote, you guys shouldn't give haters attention, especially not in this way because it just makes them want to send even more since you guys have, quote, acknowledged their existence. They'll just be even more annoying because now they know they can get you guys to say something. And we'll just read one more saying, quote, I feel for you, Millie. You and the live face so much pressure every day as public figures. I saw the stream as a way to vent with your fans and air some frustrations. Satire is a lost art, so I'm happy to see you charge forward with it and continue experimenting with content. And so I honestly understand where Millie and anyone else involved in that stream is coming from. Creators get a ton of hate, and every once in a while, it's just nice to laugh at the dumb things they complain about. However, it will usually just fuel them with more stuff to throw at you and cause them to be even more vocal than they were before. Now, was the stream fun for the people that were there? Yes, to the people that understood what was going on, but to those who had no idea, I could see why it made them a bit uncomfortable. Some people thought Millie was hacked and someone was actually saying those horrible things about them live. But honestly, at the end of the day, it was all just jokes and Millie mocking people that constantly hate on her and her friends, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I do think that maybe Millie should have informed other livers about the stream so that they were prepared for any potential backlash or questions, but at the same time, people shouldn't be pestering them about something they likely weren't involved in anyways. But that's just what I think about the situation, so please let me know what you all think down below. As we move over to a situation so dumb that I honestly can't believe it's real. That is this tweet coming from a VTuber saying, quote, when Shoto unfollowed me for no reason, saying I was doing fan art he wasn't comfortable with, he liked him before, I thought I made a mistake and apologized. Then he unfollowed Sin, some Nijis, and now even Mary, so I realized he's a conceited brag art with no respect for people. So basically, this person was unfollowed by Shoto, got upset about it, saw he unfollowed even more people, and decided to drag them into it to somehow cancel Shoto for it. Unfollowing someone on Twitter should never be a big deal, it means absolutely nothing whatsoever whatsoever. Maybe he wanted to clear out his following list, maybe they said something Shoto didn't like, or maybe Shoto just didn't want to follow them anymore. I mean, it honestly just doesn't matter at the end of the day. However, this entire tweet and situation pretty much devolved into people dunking on this VTuber for trying to start drama over this. Many of them like Geary saying, quote, if you unfollow me, I will unfollow your entire bloodline for five generations. C -Dog VA also added, quote, if you can't handle being unfollowed online, you shouldn't be online. It's honestly just such a dumb situation, and I'm glad to see so many of Shoto's friends come to his aid during it, but as usual, please let me know your thoughts on that as well. As we move back over to Niji Sanji English and take a look at Pomu Rainpuff who showed off her 3D model a few days ago, being the final member of Lazulite to show theirs off. The stream, much like the others, had people calling in and Pomu having fun using the model, so if you missed it, make sure to go check that out. We've also had Hollow Live Suise making yet another appearance on the first take this coming Wednesday, so make sure to check it out once it premieres. Also, be sure to go wish Tempest's founder, Regis Altair, a happy birthday today as well. Before that, though, let's go ahead and take a quick look over at Visho just Kason, who received a new look today that has understandably caused much more simping for her. The model looks great, so if you missed that stream, make sure to go check that out, and as always, hit that subscribe button, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye!